Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Automation Hub Sathak and in today's video in continuation with the TestNG videos I am going to discuss about the including or excluding methods within the TestNG XML file in case you are using multiple classes and those classes have a lot of methods you can choose to include or exclude methods directly within the TestNG.XML file because there were certain instances wherein people were asked this question in the interview uh, that is the reason why I am intending to make this video. So, let us go ahead and begin. So, to save time, actually I have created a package here, include, exclude test cases, which you can see, and I have created four very simple classes. So, let us start with the first class, which is launch. So, launch, uh, this launch class has two simple methods. See, I have not written any kind of an automation code. These are simple methods just to showcase how things work. Then, followed by the login class two methods again, followed by the home class with two methods again, followed by the logout class with two methods again. So, totally four classes which has two methods each. So, uh, total eight classes, eight methods, okay, four classes, eight methods and I will decide which all methods will be included and will be excluded in my testng.xml file. So, for these four classes to be included in the testng.xml file, I will select all four of them which I just did, right click go to testng, convert to testng and here in testng I will write inc exe, include, exclude, okay and then click on finish. So, now I will go to the testng.xml which have been created, first and foremost I do not need the thread count, I will remove it and now here I need to write certain things which will include those methods accordingly. So, let me go ahead with the first class which is this uh, launch. So, I will do this first. So, launch will be here uh, and then it will be login. So, I am bringing it here, putting it here, then it will be my home and I will put it here followed by the logout which is fine. Now, the thing is this class tag is closing over here. I do not want to get it closed here. I will keep it separate. And now, what I am going to do is I am going to add a tag which will denote methods. Okay, And this method will add another tag include which will name that particular method that I am using. Okay. So, now let me open launch class. So, what is the method here? Launch URL. I just go and put it over here. Similarly, I will copy this, paste it over here and give the other method here which is validate launch URL and that is it. And now, I will close the class name. That is it. So, I have opened a methods tag which will include these two methods okay, for this particular class. So, similarly, I will remove all the class closing tags and typically everything I will just copy and I will change accordingly. Copied here, copied here copied here. So, I have completed for this launch. Now, let me go for the login. There are two methods login application. I will give here. Okay, Then, there is another method validate login application. I will come and paste it here. Well and good. Now, login is done. Let us go to home class. Home class has home page application as the first method and here it goes. Then, it has validate home page and here it goes. So, now this one is done. So, now I have logout. So, logout has logout method, save, now this has validate logout, save. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like. So, we will just have a cross check. We have a suite we have a test test tag, we have a classes tag which holds these four classes 
and those have certain methods which are including these. So right now there are 8 methods which have been included in the 4 classes. I will right click run as test ng suite and look all these 8 are working absolutely fine. Now, so technically we have included all the 8 methods. What if all of a sudden you decide that for let us say the launch URL you do not want to include this method. Okay? For, for example, so you go here, so this one instead of include, you give exclude. Similarly, let us say for login, you do not want to include this validate login application method. So, you can just write here exclude instead of include and let us say you do not tamper anything with this, you do not want to include this one. For the logout, you do not want to include validate logout. So, now technically three methods have been marked as excluded within the testng.xml file, the other five will run because they are included. So, let us see what is the output, works absolutely fine. There are five which were included, the others were excluded. So, typically you can choose within the testng.xml file to exclude methods even though you are using four or multiple classes for one particular test ng.xml file. You can choose whichever method you want to choose and whichever method you want to include and whichever method you want to exclude. I did not write any kind of uh, web driver code or selenium code, you can go ahead and write it, I am not stopping you. But this was just an example and this is how this thing works. Now, why am I teaching this? Because in certain interviews, people have started asking this. Sometimes such kind of questions confuse you. You will be like, why would I need to do anything include or exclude methods within testng.xml? I can directly go and write it in the class itself at the red test enabled equal to true or false. Why would I even need to do this? That is the first question that comes in your mind. But the interviewer is not interested in what comes into your mind. He is not interested in the option that you are trying to give it to him. He is interested in this. Hence the video. Hopefully, you liked the video and if you did, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Both the Hindi and English videos will be uploaded very soon. Thank you so much. Sathakya signing off.